It's time to get messy. J just a little bit. Hello everyone! My name is Brennan and welcome to... Brennan's Crafty Corner! Hello everyone! My name is Brennan and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be playing with some Nuvo Shimmer Powder. This product is so much fun. I personally love it. I also do like getting messy though, so I mean it's in my wheelhouse. Just so you know, any products you see from Tonic Studios were sent to me free of charge as I do make videos for them. Also, any links in the bio to Tonic Studios, not bio, description, this is YouTube, <laughs> will be an affiliate link. However, I do not make a commission for that since I am under 18. However, it's just to track sales. So let's get into this video because I think these are some really fun ways to use this product. So if you've never heard of Nuvo, Nuvo Shimmer Powder, you might be like, Brennan, what is that? The best way to think of it is as a liquid watercolor. So it's a little, or not a liquid, a powder watercolor. So in here is just a bunch of powder and it's water activated. So how you use it is you just tap it onto your piece of paper. I'm using some Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock and you don't wanna squeeze whatever you do, do not squeeze these bottles because it will come flying out. You will waste product and you will, it will almost be unusable just because of how pigmented these are. And it does, it does not need a lot. I'm barely covering this panel. It looks barely speckled, but it's gonna be cool, cool crazy when it's done in a good way. So that's honestly more than enough. You do not need this much, but I tend to go a little crazy. And then I'm just gonna spray on a little water. It might help if I unlock my water sprayer. I'm just gonna do little splots everywhere. As you can see, as it, the water hits it, it starts to activate. And now we can, you can totally let this air dry. However, I'm personally extremely impatient when it comes to crafting. So I hit it with a heat gun. This also gets you to move, I should explain it first. The air from the heat gun moves around the pigment and can kind of change up your design. If you don't want that, I suggest you let it air dry. So I'm gonna hit this with a heat gun and I will be right back once it's done with the heat gun because who wants to hear a heat gun sound? Here is our finished panel. As you can see, there's some shimmer to it as shimmer is in the name, but you get a super cool, really fun background. What's the background is super dependent though on how much shimmer powder you use and how much water. This one, I used a lot less water, but used a similar amount of shimmer powder. So over here, we have a much lighter, almost pastel-y color. Here we have a much more intense and vibrant. Th that yellow is almost neon color. So it just depends on how much water you use and also how much powder you use, because it's just gonna dilute it more or less. Basically, if you wanna use less water, I suggest adding it in a tiny little bit, and then go in with your heat gun to make sure it actually mixes, because if you add in very, very little, it's not gonna mix that well. Now, we're going for a next technique, and this one, oh my gosh, is so much fun. I was like, is this gonna work? I was testing out stuff for this video, and it did work, and I was like, oh. so we're gonna take some Nuvo Chalk Mousse, and just for demonstration purposes, we're only gonna take a little, And we're gonna scoop this out and we're gonna put it right here. And then what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna add a little bit of our powder. We're gonna do some Fantail Firecracker and we're just gonna bloop. This is the reason why you don't wanna squeeze it. See how much came out there? For the, this, however, you do wanna use more. We're just gonna start to mix this in. And look at that. We have our nice orangey, peachy almost paste. You basically just created a new unique paste color. Literally no one else would have this exact color because obviously it's gonna vary slightly even if you use the same thing. So we're just gonna scoop this around, mix it around. But then let's say you want a different color. Let's say you want this to be a little more pinky. What we can do now is put this back down. We're gonna add our little pink to it. Now we can mix that pink in. And you can create your own custom colors. And now we're getting almost a red because pink is red and orange has red in it. So you have a nice, really hot pink, almost red. On camera, it looks a little more red. In real life, it looks a little more pink. Look at that, you have your own paste. Now we can just scoop this up. Now it's ready to go on a card. Obviously, if you're doing a card front, you might wanna make a little more than this because this honestly isn't that much, just for demonstration purposes. But this is a really fun way to make your own colored pastes. All you need, Nuvo Chalk Mousse, some shimmer sprays, shimmer powders. You know what I meant. <laughs> Another super fun thing you can do is to get some water and a little spray bottle and make your own sprays. I'm actually gonna do a green one with Atlantis Burst. So all you're gonna do, just fill up your little spray bottle with water. The Nuvo spray bottles will work great. However, I don't have an empty one on hand to use. I'm just gonna add in a decent amount. You don't, 
I, it, you don't have to be perfect because any pigment to it will work. But look at that. It's starting to sink in and create a color. Now I'm just going to add this cap on. We want to make sure it's screwed on tight because we don't want this to make go everywhere. We're just going to shake it. Since there's shimmer in here, you're going to want to shake it every time because what will happen is the shimmer will sink to the bottom and then you wouldn't get a shimmer spray and your spray wouldn't come out as good. So I would just suggest shaking it every time before you use it. And then we're going to spray. Look at that. Look at that really nice spray. That color is gorgeous too. Let this dry. And then here is our finished background. I just did a spray. I only did one layer and I really love how this came out. You can keep doing a bunch of different layers or what you could also do is add a stencil. This is which, this is one I had done with the storm cloud color. And this one's older. I did this in a live about, I think like two or three months ago. And I just did, I put down a stencil and then I did my spray and I got this really cool look. As you can see, it's darker in the center, lighter on the outside. I think what I did was I sprayed it more in the center and then I did a lot less on the outsides or I added water. Honestly, forget what I did. But you could do a bunch of different color sprays and create a really cool different colored background. Okay, just sitting here, I thought we could spice up this background a little. So I'm just going to go in with that same color, that same Atlantis Burst color. And just add a little more. So we already have our base layer here. So it's, we're going to have a good coverage already. But as you can see, since this is still slightly, slightly wet, you can see that color already starting to expand up here, especially. I'm just going to do a very, very little water, very little water to be clear. And then what I'm going to do, this might shock you, but I'm just going to go in and I'm going to tap all that water I put down away. And then look at this gorgeous background. On these bigger clumps, you might want to go in and just activate that powder a little more because if you don't, the powder could stay powder, either fall off the card or just might not end that well. But look at that now. Look at that interest to add it. So we have our base color around here and in different areas up here, up here, there for, of our spray. But then we went in and added the, all that extra curves. It almost looks like a speckled egg kind of. I really like this. Okay. Shimmer powder is so much fun. It can have so many different but super fun results. I just love getting messy. I don't know why. <laughs> My hands honestly aren't that bad, but it's been a couple hours, so do that as well. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and have an amazing rest of your day. And if you get messy, please show me it on Instagram, tag me, do whatever you want. Bye everyone and happy crafting.